Everyone, I wanted to show you how you can change your uh, d development workflow. So if you're building, if you're building new a apps and an AI first uh, with AI first development tools, here's something that I've been doing um, by combining a lot of AI uh, things, a lot of AI technology to help me learn while I'm actually building. Right. So uh, as you know, I've been using, I've, I've been creating this uh, brand new application called Prompt Central. I've been developing a lot of it myself. Uh, and I've already uh, sort of pushed it to production and, um, it is live and I've been, I'm just testing it at the moment. It's not actually, um, um, available to sign up, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on that and I'm going to hopefully release it soon. So but what I've been doing, I've, I've been using this incredible tool, uh, called wind surf. It's pretty new. So it's a development, um, application here, as you can see, and I've developed, uh, an incredibly detailed. Uh, application. So if you have a look at like my folders, I mean, I've got, I think w tens of thousands of rows of code here and I've never read, I haven't written a single line myself. I've just, I've just done a lot of, um, iterating here with my, um, uh, what, what they call cascade, which is like an agentic AI, uh, developer. And I've actually been voice typing a lot. So you see here, if I bring this and I've got this, my desktop application, I've got voice typer. I've actually just been talking to it really. So it's pretty incredible what's possible. But what I wanted to show you was, okay, so I've come in on a new morning and uh, I want to just try and understand a bit of, a bit more about my um, application. Okay, so what what you can do, this is a really cool tip, by the way, if you're getting into GitHub, like I, I have been in the last few months. So I've got a whole lot of repos, but I've got one called Prompt Central, right? And so I grab the uh, URL like this, okay? So I copy it, I bring it into a new, uh, um, window again, okay, or a new tab, and then I paste it. And all you have to do is you change this to the G to a U. Okay. Change the G to a U and go enter. And what it does is it takes you to this. Um, if it's a private one, you've got to, you've got to put in a private key, but, um, I've already done that. If it's not, if it's a public repo, you get a, a, a download of the entire code base like this, right? So the entire code base like this, and you'll see that, um, you can actually see this is, I've got to actually do more tokens, but I'll just open another one that I've already got to open. Yeah, I mean, this 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 application I built is huge. It's huge. It's like tens of thousands of rows of code at this point. Absolutely huge. Okay, so what we need to do, what we need to do is we need to uh, get this into a format, like a PDF document, okay? So I'm gonna get this into a PDF. I'm gonna save as PDF. Okay, I'll just save it in my downloads here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then come to ChatGPT over here. Okay, so I've got my ChatGPT. This is my ChatGPT desktop. You could do you could do this with anything. You could do this with um, um you could do with this with any AI tool, by the way. But uh this one I'm gonna use four O because I wanna upload, I wanna upload that PDF document. Okay, so I'm gonna go um yep, I'm gonna upload this here. Okay, and then what what I've actually got as well. Um, you can do this one of two ways. So I'm going to grab from prompt, from prompt central. I actually have a, a web dev group, right? This is what prompt central is all about. Uh, I'm going, and I'm going to go and grab one of my preloaded, um, see here that it says, please analyze the code base and generate a comprehensive overview to help me understand its structure and functionality. Okay. So I'm going to go copy and then I'm going to go and just paste it in here. And it gives me a really detailed prompt. Then you don't need to write it out and then go like that. And so this is how you can get, obviously I've been working on this myself, but you can get across really large code bases very, very quickly this way. Right. And I want to show you else, something else that we can do as well. So based on the central content provided from the uploaded file. So that, that PDF is huge, right? So let's have a, let's actually have a look how big it is. See if I can. Two hundred and seventeen pages. Two hundred and seventeen pages. That is that is that PDF, right? Okay. So high level overview. Purpose of the application: a collaborative um, platform for managing and sharing prompts. Blah, 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 mm. uh, component based architecture using React backends. Yeah. I mean, this is just incredible, right? Like how quickly it can give you this. So directory and file structure. Yeah. Significant readme files. 
It's pretty cool. And so, yeah, so I've been using this not only for myself, like as I'm um, working through, like every day I've, I've just done a bit of a summary. I've also been using it. Check this out. I can also use voice to talk to it. So I can, um, I'm going to, let's just see if this works. Sometimes it, the, the voice I would say can sometimes be a little bit unstable, but let's have a look. Yeah, see, sometimes it can be a little bit unstable, but the idea is that you can actually talk to those files. You can actually talk to your code base and talk through your files. And I have done this a, a few times now, and it's it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. So it's taking a 200 page PDF. I'm sure it's not perfect. Like uh, there's no doubt in my mind it's not, it's not perfect, um, but it's definitely a value add. It's, it's definitely valuable, right? And another thing I've been doing, um, yeah, see so the voice the voice can be just a little bit temperamental particularly on the desktop i would say okay and so okay and then so i've got i've actually got other prompts inside of here and i can go and i can quickly just jump back and forth and and this is this this is the whole idea of like why i built prompt central is because i wanted very detailed prompts and i could just quickly go back and forth and what that does is it starts opening up all these new opportunities when you can scale you know in, inverted co uh, quotes intelligence just think about the the enormous additional learning opportunities there are it is it is almost endless it truly is okay so the code base for the prompt is a modern mod, uh, modular architecture built with a focus on reusability and scalability it combines react for front end and super base for back end services yes the application employs a layered architecture, dive, dividing concerns into the front end, back end. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of actually quite similar. This prompt, so I might want to change it. It's interesting. Like um, usually, four O is actually a lot faster. It actually um, so something. So there's there's something's up that is a bit slower today. Yeah, and we could go. We can get. We could get really specific as well. Like the thing is, um, when you start using larger code bases like this, even though I don't um, write any of it, right? You still need to have a very, very strong understanding of the architecture of it, right? There's nothing. There's, there is no such thing as just like prompting away and building some amazing app without actually knowing what you're doing. It's just. It's just unrealistic. Um, but this is how you can in a like, you know, when I would just look at this, I'm just, I think, oh man, how, how does, how does this all fit together? But this is how I've been, I've been really digging into it. I've been, I've been prompting, I've been asking questions of the data, of, of the, of the code base, etc. And I've been talking to it. I've been talking to it as well. Let's, let's just try one more time um, with the advanced voice. Oh, start a new chat for advanced voice. Hi there, can you talk me through in a conversational style? I just want to have a conversation. Sure thing. Here's the stunt chat version. Prompt Central is a layered app with React on the front and Superbase in the back. Think of it as a relay race. Front okay, just pause, just pause. To back end services, which hand off to the database. The core setup, front end, React driven with hooks and services running the show. Okay, I'll just pause it there. But you get the idea, you get the idea. Okay, that's all. That's all I've been doing. Uh, I'm going to keep showing you all these little uh, tips and tricks that I've been learning. It's it's look, it's just absolutely incredible what you can do right now. And uh, if you know, if you're not jumping into it, you should be. You absolutely should be testing out a lot of these tools, uh, the, these new workflows. It's you know it's applicable to so many things actually. So many things. Like if 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 you can create a PDF of something like any code, formulas, etc., and you and, and then you can talk about it. You can you can talk to that code base, those formulas, those 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 complexities. Okay, talk to you soon.